Nigel Pack. Ten seconds to shoot for Miami. Poplar. What a great play. Norchad O'Meer. And it's an eight-point lead for Miami. 2.20 left in regulation. Pitt desperate for a bucket. Scoreless for the last two minutes. Cummings backing down pack. Federico, Federico cleans up the spill. Lost the foul. Quietly, he has been huge for Pitt. Great on the offensive glass. Uh, the drop down is not there, and then that's a big boy. Grown man move right there, and then you take a look at the spacing again by Miami. Clear to see the excellent spacing that Miami has, and that's all set up uh, by ball movement and their ability to knock down threes. You have to honor those guys, and then they're able to get into gaps and find people. Rims out, no good. Still a six-point game with two minutes to go. Miami trying to close out what will be an impressive road win. to the lane too much on it Pittsburgh has numbers in transition hints at a three he hits it Blake Henson cuts the lead in half timeout Miami three uh, he has not had a shot in his last couple of possessions uh, I got to assume Jim Laranega is going to send something uh, his way off a ball screen and then get him isolated. Here he is. 15 seconds to shoot Wong. Right to the rim. Through contact. He missed it. Cummings into the lane. Fading away. It rolls in. We've got a one-point game with under a minute left in regulation. And listen to this crowd come alive. Now look at this battle. Isaiah Wong against Jamarius Burton. Wong turns it over. Here's Burton. Right to the rim. Hinson gives Pittsburgh the lead. The Panthers lead for the first time in this second half. Pittsburgh run. Okay, when we asked Jeff Capel what this game was going to come down to, he did not hesitate to say individual defensive plays. Now that right there, coming up with a turnover, and then this guy on the offensive glass put back. Uh, that is a big time comeback by Pitt, and it's all set up, though, uh, by their defense. Two minutes and seven seconds ago, Miami. Going back uh, to Isaiah Wong. Miami out of timeouts. When do you take the shot if you're Miami? There's about a second and a half separating the game clock and the shot clock. Wong. With 10 seconds left, ripped away by Burton. Individual defensive play. Jeff Capel said it. I'm going to repeat what he said again. Individual defensive play. Jamarius Burton, no help comes. He stays home and makes a unbelievable uh, defensive stop against one of the better one-on-one -on -one players in college basketball. That's a big-time defensive stop by Jamarius Burton. Miami still had a foul to give, so this next foul will send Pitt to the line. 7.1 seconds remaining. Miami out of timeouts. Pittsburgh has two. Elliott the inbounder. And he stepped over the line. It's Miami ball.
They're going to review it, but Miami. Timeout he did not have. Now, if you're Pittsburgh, you do have one foul to give. You think about fouling here. Just do not want to do it in the act of shooting. Into Miller, and the foul comes. And that's exactly what I suspected. Now, you don't have Coach Lirinaga going to somebody else other than Isaiah Wong. And again, remember, in that first half, Jordan Miller, uh, he was a guy that got it going. And this was the matchup he was on. And so it looks like they're going to try to get Miller. Inside to Omir, ripped away. Foul called with 2.5 left, back to back. Time steals by Pitt. Activity right here with their hands. Great. And another missed opportunity for Miami. Miami out of timeouts. It's one and one for Greg Elliott. I think the key thing, you're right, no timeout. So if you're Miami, a make or miss, you're going to have to draw up a play that's going to take you down the other end of the court and get a quick hitter to try to either tie this game or win it, depending on what he does from the free throw line. a timeout to set his defense this crowd and now two and a half seconds away from what would be a huge NCAA tournament resume win. Beverly the inbounder Miami without any more timeouts remaining into Miller to Wong for the tie no good The comeback is complete. Jeff Capel's Pittsburgh Panthers knocks off number 20 Miami in stunning fashion. And now they stand alone as the number three team.